this philosophy early on that if I just ignored injuries, they would go away. And for a long time, I was able to kind of make that happen. And then all of a sudden, you get a cascading effect. And next thing you know, you're fucked. And that's the straw the camel's back kind of analogy. What's up, everyone? It's your boy, Andy Coach, George Calioras, back with another overhead press session. Max effort log press. Did some volume on the way up, so I only hit 190. If you saw my last video, you saw I missed it on three tries. When did these chained overhead presses? The chains aren't touching the ground, but it provides a lot of instability for the overhead press. Did stability ball pikes and then these box jumps, and it's just to break up some uh, shoulder pump that's really going on with it. And I like jumping. I haven't been doing a lot of squatting lately, but I've been doing a lot of sprints, a lot of running type stuff, and uh, might as well build some explosive power again. Went and did these deficit push-ups. This is the first set. I did four sets of 25. Uh, I did have to break up the last couple sets because with the chain weight added, it was a little bit more difficult. And uh, after this whole workout, I did, just did a ton of lateral raises and tricep pushdowns. Went to the gym. My buddy Jared was deadlifting. He's like, you want to jump in? I said, yeah, fuck it. Why not? I'm going to be gone for two weeks anyway. So we uh, went up to 435. I did a ton of volume on the way up. Uh, 185 or 135, 185, 225, 315, 365, 385, 405 for five. And then he's like, you want to go to 435? I'm like, maybe. And at that point, my piriformis was starting to hurt. But... I said, just give me a minute, and I tried it. I did one rep, and it felt like someone stabbed me in the butt. So, I didn't do any more. But that was all good. Sometimes, it's, uh, it's okay to be a little bit smart and not push through pain. Sometimes, it's okay to push through the pain and just fucking go. Just like with these damn push-ups that you're about to see right here. It gets pretty brutal. You can see me keep my body straight and rigid. My abs are engaged, my glutes are engaged, the triceps are pushing through, the upper back is coming together on the down part of the push-up, which is really important for slowing down on the push-up or the bench press. Uh, you don't want to just use your arms and you try, your uh, chest to try and throw some weight around. You want to use your whole upper body. You want to even use your whole lower body too. You want to try and get your legs involved if you can. Keep those tight. Irradiation. If one muscle's tight, then the surrounding muscle is going to be tight. That's why you grip things hard, and all of a sudden you get stronger. Weird, huh? So anyway, this is the last set. Last couple reps of the last set. I think I, I was on, like, rep 15, maybe? I don't remember, really. But trying to grind it out. Not even as much chain weight, but it is around your neck. It's something you got to be careful about is that you don't put too much stress on the cervical spine when you do that. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your time. I know there's a ton of other things that you could be doing right now, but make sure you like, subscribe, and, sh subscribe and share.